we want to make sure that when we are working with this rig, that we know exactly which bones and which joints deform the rig directly. Now, the reason being is that most people, when they first do rigging, they'll select the entire rig, push skin, and everything gets fucked up because there's multiple joints that don't actually need to affect the rig. For instance, this root joint here, uh, don't need to do shit. It's just there as a structural thing. So um, we need to only select these joints going down from there to affect the rig, okay? So what we wanna do is make sure that our naming is nice and clear. So we're gonna go ahead and select the hips, go down to uh, modify, prefix hierarchy names, and we're gonna set the prefix to DEF for deform. Or if you wanna be super, super clear, DEFOM deform. All right, so just go ahead and type in DEF, push OK, and that will add the prefix to everything in our rig. All right, now that's exactly what we want. Save the file. And now what we can do is select the mesh that we want to um, bind to, so the whole group there. Select our def hips parent object. Don't include this fucking root, by the way. Don't include it. Do not include it. And then we're going to go ahead and go to skin, bind skin. Now, to make your life easier, I could talk about the different kinds of bind skin options, and I'll probably have to make a more complicated video about that. But basically, the default stinks. All right? The default sucks. All right? Don't go with this one. If you want to have a relatively reliable result out of the box, let's follow the following methods. Bind method is geodesic voxel. Skinny method is weight blended. Normalized weights, interactive, weight distribution, distance, max influences, set it to three or four. Now max influences is basically telling you or telling the rig, um, on any given vertex, only three joints can affect it. Or on any given vertex, only four joints can affect the influence of that vertex. So by setting the max influences on the um, joints, you are hopefully limiting the amount of headaches you're going to have when weight painting. So set it to three, you're good to go. Mind you, in Unity and in Unreal, the max influences is five. So if you go any further than five, then um, you're going to run into issues there. So again, play it safe. Number three is fine. Now, the resolution of our voxel is going to be huge. We want it to be bigger. So 1024 is good. All right. Ball off can either be tighter or sharper. Okay. So the, long, the higher the number, the, the more influence a joint can have on a given region. So... <clears throat> It's probably good to have the ball off to be somewhere around 20, point 20 or maybe even 0.15. Let's give that a go. All right. Once we do that, we push apply, let it do its thing. And the voxelizing method can take a little longer. So just be patient. If you think it's hanging, little beach ball of death is doing its thing. Don't worry. Just let it think. Give it five, 10 minutes and it will get through it. This is also why we went with a lower res mesh for this tutorial um, because of those reasons. And we're going to, once it's done, just see how the deformations are going. This will just be a base deformation for um, us to just rig to. We can clean it up later on, but as long as where we've placed the joints have been good, it just gives us an indication that overall we are doing the right thing we've placed the joints in the right spot. We can always come back and add more joints if we have to, for instance, uh, twist joints and stuff like that, we'll probably add later on. Um, but overall, that it's working. The deformations are in the right spot. There's no egregious offsets, um, stuff like that, especially around the hips. You wanna make sure that they look pretty good. So let it do its thing, let it think, and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're at that point where we've skinned the mesh. Let's have a little test. So with this GDZ voxel, ooh, not bad, not bad at all. That's looking pretty good. 
that location on that elbow, I think could be a little tighter up there, but overall, I think it's, ah, it's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We can tighten that up with a little bit of a cheeky blend shape if we have to. Um, let's have a look at this one. Ooh, that's tasty. Tasty defamation. That's what we want out of the box. Looking pretty good. There is some compression there, but that's just normal given because we don't have enough helper joints in there at the moment. But overall, that's working pretty good. Let's have a look at the fingers. Uh, we can also set this. Let's go to local. Oh, right. I've got to select the entire hierarchy. Let's go down to the hierarchies here. Select all of them like so. Give a cheeky bend on the x-axis. X-axis. Ugh. we got to fix these ones up. <laughs> we got to fix up the orientation of these. That's why it's causing that. Let's go ahead and fix those up. One, two, three. Or the form. This is why we got to orient our fucking joints. This is the reason why. Apply. And that will fix that one up. We'll have to do it on the other side as well, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's give that a go. And that's looking pretty fucking good. Not bad at all, if you ask me. That looks pretty good. And you can see they're curling in the um, the palm as well because we've got the metacarpal selected. That's looking really sweet. So if we go ahead and select these guys only. And select those, rotate them. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it looks a bit a little, little bit noodly, but again, uh, that's much better than I had hoped. Uh, that's perfect for what we need to start rigging at least. Let's have a look at the thumb. And again, not bad. Again, the orientation of the thumb ain't perfect. But honestly, that's not that bad either. I think that would be fine for, for our purposes. All right, cool. Let's just fix up the orientation on those fucking fingers over here as well. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go to our skeleton, orient joints. There we go. That's better. Lovely. All right, cool. Let's have a little test on this side as well. Great. That's looking great. Perfect. All right, sweet. Let's have a look at the spine. Ooh, that's not bad. I mean, I got a little bit of tearing there in the hips, but otherwise not bad at all. I can deal. I can deal with that. That looks pretty, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at the hips. Now that's where we have some issues. We have some issues in the hips there. Um, could technically add some helper joints there, but I think we'll just have to add some fixes in the weight paints in the future. But overall, I can how I can deal with that for now in the time for the time being. Let's have a look at this area here. Legs are looking great. Foot's fine. Toes are fine. And again, we've got this fucking orientation issue there. Let's go ahead and fix that up. Uh, Orient joint. There we go. Fix that up. Great. Save that. Let's have a look at the head now. Now, this is where we will definitely have to do some white painting in the future. But the head is looking okay. You can see some tearing there in the neck because it's two separate um, elements, two separate geometries. That's okay, though. We can handle that later. Let's look at the jaw. Now, this is, I really doubt this is going to work. But, yeah, <laughs> you can see here we've got some issues because the eyes uh parented wrong so we're going to go ahead and grab the eyes there and parent them to the head now let's have a go now i'm actually surprised this is not bad at all not bad at all now you can see here that the eyes are now a little bit screwed now because of the weights in the parenting i think it might be the reason why 
So I might fix that up. But overall, the the actual mouth, I'm actually surprised it's kept its uh, volume. So uh, let's have a look at the mouth. That's looking pretty cool. Awesome. Now, as for why the eyes aren't influencing the head that much, oh, they are. They're just not doing it that much. Is a enigma to me, but I think it's down to the way that it was parented. So if we actually were to try and rebind that, it should be fine. So let's just give it that cheeky rebind and see what happens. So go out the rig, grab the, grab the mesh here. Let's grab the geo. Skin, unbind skin. Delete the history. Apply. That got through, get, gets rid of all the meshes. That's good. Let's try doing it again. So select the um, the mesh and then select the hips downwards. Let's try that again. All right, rebound and ready to roll. And as you can see, it's actually doing a pretty good job now. Yep, it's actually affecting the mesh in the right way. And I think it's just down to the, it's literally down to the, um, uh, the hierarchy in which the original joints were created. So there you go. And now the jaw, I'm actually really surprised about the jaw working this way. Uh, I've never had a jaw work this well in Maya before at the box. So that's a good sign. But overall, yeah, pretty good. Um, I think we're ready to roll for the next stage, which is rigging parts of the body. All right, so just before we get going though, if you want to make your weights look a little bit nicer though, uh, without weight painting for the time being, we can always go ahead and select the mesh and go up to skin or deform, go to uh, delta mush, go to uh, this button here and set the, uh, and just push apply. And you can see here, <laughs> fucking, it's magic. Um, it kind of smooths out the meshes and uh, the deformations and just avoids a lot of pain. And as you can see, it's working quite well. <laughs> um, so yeah, Delta Mush is great for that first few sets. We will have to, we will have to skin it properly though. But um, for the most part, uh, it's it's great as a little testing bed. Um, you can see here, Delta Mush has really killed off the uh, the shoulders there, for instance. But um, yeah, it's pretty amazing how good it is when it works. And you can see the mouth is like, ah, it's good. It's good. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next stage.